literally had high school musical the musical this high school musical the series the musical high school musical the musical the series that high school musical show on disney those songs stuck in my head all day like all day someone help me please but that's just that's not what we're here to talk about today hi guys so welcome back for today's video we're gonna be doing an unboxing i can't even pronounce this the the allure beauty box for january i have a love and hate relationship with um subscription boxes so last year i had a ton of subscription boxes i had the same lore one i had a boxy charm i had fab fit fun i had a birch box i had lashy box i had so many i wasted so much money on that and i had really liked the allure one just to get my whole point across i subscribed to a ton of them last year i liked having them because you know you get to try out some new products you get to get some products that are full size but you pay kind of like a fraction of the cost I had to try out a lot of products but at the same time i didn't really like a lot of them so i canceled all of my subscriptions and i don't know why but i just got into my head that i want to have at least one subscription box service so and i don't my nose is so itchy i think it's i don't know if it's like my foundation or i don't know i decided to subscribe to allure i don't like boxycharm i just felt like i was seeing a lot of like repetitive things categories and i remember that i actually subscribed when carly bible like she curated a box and she put some really good stuff in it so i thought you know what maybe i should like give the subscription box another try did anything that i say make sense i don't know but anyway before we get into the video if you are new here welcome i make beauty and lifestyle videos every single week so if you like that sort of content please be sure to subscribe i am going to be hosting another giveaway once we reach 300 subscribers so we're all really close so please subscribe so you don't miss out on that giveaway and the giveaway for the starbucks gift cards that has been closed i already reached out to the winners and i already sent them their gift cards so thank you so much to everyone who participated in that don't feel bad if you didn't win more giveaways are going to be coming soon so let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing allure beauty box i believe it's 15 dollars a month if you are a new subscriber i think you get a five dollar discount so i did get this box for ten dollars and i believe you also get a full size gift let's go ahead and open this did sneak a little peek into it opening it up just comes with this little pamphlet it just has like information about the products that come in here and i guess the theme of it is 2020 vision wow okay original i love it hmm. i think i it's a lot of skincare I don't really like trying out skincare from other brands. I stick to my artistry skincare. My skincare routine video will be coming up sometime next week. I could get a request for that. So that will be posted sometime next week. But I don't really like trying out skincare from other brands because I feel like my skin has already gotten so used to using artistry. So whenever I use a skincare product from another line, sometimes I get like a reaction to it or I get like bumps. There was like a serum that I tried last year um, from a BoxyCharm box that it was kind of like another reason to cancel that subscription because I was getting a ton of skincare that I just I didn't like I would have some sort of reaction so there was a serum last year that actually all right here it, it felt like it was all burning and it felt like my lip was kind of like swelling so I threw that out like <laughs> and it was like I think it was like a serum that retailed I think for like over like I think I think it retailed for like $65 or it was a bad experience anyway let's let's just get into this and you open this up here are all of the products also the only the only like non-artistry skincare product that i use is the kylie skin the fresh foaming face cleanser i love that cleanser one of my favorites but that's really like the only non-artistry skincare product that i have so um hopefully this works this is a caudic caudali instant foaming cleanser expects the natural balance of the skin to restore radiant softness and comfort this kind of looks like a little fancy so that's just what the bottle looks like 
and this is a full size oh, I got some on my nose it smells good I'll probably try it tonight it smells fresh it smells kind of reminds me of something that my grandma uses <laughs> we'll try it out tonight Ooh, we got a mascara this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I have a ton of mascaras that I'm currently working on, so probably going to save this, but this actually looks good. This retails for $23. I haven't really tried Tarte mascaras. I tried the Big Eagle Mascara. I hated that mascara. It had so much flakiness. It was a really, it was a really bad mascara, but... Um, hopefully this is good. Please don't do me. Don't do me bad. Like don't do me wrong, please. Very cute So this is just what the wand looks like Hopefully it does something for my lashes because I have mentioned this before I do have the worst lashes in the world. So apparently That's just like the little before and after picture. I don't I don't think mines are gonna look like that I I, I don't think so, but um, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna try this out next product mm, this is the Perfect Shine Oil Mist. This is a color and heat protectant. Lightly mist on dry hair for mirror-like shine. And this is just what the little bottle looks like. Can't really smell it, but... Ooh, that's, ooh, that smells like very salon-y. Like when you go get your hair done at the salon, like it just smells, it smells like the salon. It smells very very good it smells very like high end very fresh well that's not bad the full size one retails for $16 and you can buy it on Amazon okay so I like went quiet for a bit because I was actually reading on this so this little pamphlet pamphlet uh, what it has is that it does have like so it has like all of the pictures of the products that are included in the box it comes with the prices the names of it where it can be purchased as well as some discount codes um, but what I'm also seeing is that they put like, I guess their, some of their employees give kind of like little reviews on the products, which that's really cool. So about this oil mist, uh, Rosemary who is the digital wellness editor. She shared that she went blonde last year and that her hair became really dry. And even though the bleach has grown out, her, the shine in her hair never really came back. So this just did a really good job at getting that shine back. That's a mirror-like shine achieved with this little product. So I'm excited for this. It smells really, really good. And you could see the shininess in my hair. I've actually been struggling with my hair. It just hasn't, um, how, how do I say this? Like, it's just not shiny how it used to be. And I've, I've noticed that ever since I came back from my trip from Dallas I was in the pool for like three or four nights and my hair just felt super super dried out and I feel like ever since then I've just really been struggling to bring back some moisture to get it to look shiny again I even cut it because my ends were just horrible after that trip so honestly like I already see a difference in my hair I am excited to keep using this next product that we have here this is the renewed hope in a jar water cream this is from the brand is this philosophy yeah, so it's from the brand Philosophy. And this is just a hyaluronic glow moisturizer. It also smells very fresh. It kind of smells like my grandma. <laughs> this retails for $39. Sarah gave a little review on the product. Um, she says that her skin felt plumpier, plumper, plumper, dewier, and more hydrated. The cream felt so good. Went back for some more and slathered it down my neck and onto my chest. I think that the full size one actually looks really pretty. I really like the packaging on Philosophy products. It just looks like so clean and expensive and really wish that they could have given a bigger um, like sample of this. Next product here, this is a Vitabrid C12 Dual Drop Serum, age defying and deep hydration. So this uh, reduces signs of aging and brightens skin tone while providing deep hydration. Okay, so this is just what it looks like. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. So it is a little dropper. How do you smell? Smells weird. That little serum, full size, cost 
Danielle wrote on here, skin was brighter, smoother, thoroughly moisturized. She noticed a significant change in texture. And then the next product here, this is actually one that I don't like. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This is an intensive exfoliating treatment. I had actually gotten um, like this exact sample sized one from Ulta and I really didn't like it. I felt like it was very rough on my skin. Probably gonna end up giving this away, but I just, I, I didn't like it. I didn't notice like anything, like any difference in my skin whatsoever after using it. So probably just gonna give that away. It sells for $75 for 1.7 ounces. $75. No thanks. No thanks. I just have one last product. This is the Akar Skin Pure Lip Restoration. I think this is also like a little uh, sample size. I love the lip therapy one from Vaseline. <gasps> Those are just so, so good. Those are always like getting cracked and just really dried out. So that's really like the only lip balm that actually like makes a difference in my lips. So hopefully this is good. I think that the full size of this does retail for $30. For that price, you, my lips better be restored in one day. That feels good. I think I'm just like really excited for the Tarte Mascara, for the Perfect Shine Oil Mist, as well as this lip balm. I don't know, I'm not that impressed with the box only because a lot of it is mostly skincare. I was kind of expecting for like a little bit more of like makeup products, but um, we'll see. We'll see how these products work out. Probably stick with it for like another month. And if I don't like next month, then I'll probably unsubscribe. Let me know what subscription services you guys like, which ones are worth the money, which ones don't really disappoint you. I just don't want anyone to say BoxyCharm because I'm not gonna resubscribe to BoxyCharm. I just did not like that service. Probably just gonna stick with this one for February. And if it's good for next month, then I'll probably keep it because I have really been wanting a subscription service like I mentioned earlier, so we'll see, but I am excited for these three. I think that for the price I paid $10 getting three products that um, I'm actually excited to use, then it's good, but at the same time, it is still one, two, three, four products that I'm not really excited for. But I am excited to get some use out of these, so I'll let you guys know of any updates later on this month hope that you guys had a little bit of fun unboxing this um allure box with me and again let me know what subscription services you you guys like because i am on the hunt for one for this year thanks so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys in my next one bye I don't need